Hey guys, what's up? Thought I'd do another video today while I have some time on my hands. Um, this one's going to be EDC, or those of you who don't know, it's an acronym for Everyday Carry. And basically it's just on any given day what you normally carry in your pocket. Um, I've seen a few on here. I, I just think it's interesting, some of the stuff, or junk, <laughs> depending who you are, people carry in their pockets. But uh, usually everybody carries, you know, something or a couple things in their pocket that they need or use every day and this is just some of the you know stuff I carry in mine of course um, my wallet got my driver's license in it not a whole lot of money but you know maybe enough to buy a coke and a candy bar if I'm lucky um, second thing I got is my car keys yep so yeah um, and last week why was it Fort Pickett doing some training, I needed a uh, little flashlight. I didn't want a great big one and to spend a whole lot of money because um, I didn't have a good enough one here to take at home. So I just found this small little, what you call pinch light. It has an LED in it. And these are good for, you know, if you're trying to get in the door at night and it's dark, can't find the keyhole very well, you just push down on a little pinch light, a little bright LED lights up everything. Um, going camping just need a small light to find things in the dark these are good to have and like I said it has a keychain on it I just put it on my other keys and and it's it's always there so I'm usually always carrying my keys on me even though when I'm not driving if I'm driving with somebody else I'll have it with me just because I have a you know has a little light on there and can make things convenient uh, it's small not very big as you can see and wasn't very expensive. I think it was like three dollars or something. But these are always good to have. Maybe if you break down on the side of the road at night, you need to open the hood, look at the engine. This would be good enough to do that. Light up a, a small room, pretty bright, just good enough to see where you're going. It's nothing spectacular, like a you know one of those high dollar uh, lights that you'd care that you know you could carry or something like that. Um, Second thing I got, one of my bad habits, it's, yeah, some smokes. I'm trying to quit, but it's it's easier said than done. Uh, the next thing, I, well, the, the next thing is a cell phone. I always have that everywhere I go. You never know. Like I said, if your car breaks down, you're driving, it's good to have one of these. Call one of your buddies. Uh, he'll come pick you up, maybe, or call home. Um, or, you know, if you're like some people I know, this is also your home phone. A lot of people... We're doing away with uh, landlines and uh, using cell phones because it makes sense. Everywhere you go, you, you can take your phone with you. Just make sure you got a good charger for it. Um, <clears throat> next thing, I got this. Um, I think I got it just this past. You know, no, I did get it just this past Sunday. But uh, it's something I've been wanting for a while. I'm looking at them on the Internet. Prices vary depending who you buy it from. But uh, I needed a good, I wanted another good pocket knife, so... Actually, I got this Spyderco Hawkbill as a gift. Uh, it's stainless steel. It was between this or one of the new H&Ks. Um, has a little hole where you open it up. Unfortunately, I'm left-handed because of the clips made f made for right-handed wear. But uh, you stick your what I do, stick my thumb in the clip in the hole, open it up. Very sharp serrated edge, good for cutting fishing line, rope, or you know, anything you might need utility-wise that, that you need a pocket knife for. Um, I probably won't wear this when I go out in the field with uh, with my military unit, my army unit. Uh, it's just because this, this is a $100 knife. Uh, I don't usually spend that much on knives, but then again, I got it as a gift. This is probably a knife you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get lost. I, I would really hate to lose this since, it, number one, it was a gift, and number two, they're so, you know, they're kind of expensive. Um, just last week, like I said, when I was in Pickett, I was doing some training, and I didn't know my pocket knife had fell out of my pocket, and I was looking through my stuff all that night trying to find it, so, you know, if it would have been this, it would have, I would have been a little sick, but if I would have lost the other one, it wouldn't have been as bad. I mean, it didn't cost that much. Although it was a gift for my dad, I would have hated to lose it in that respect, but, it wasn't a expensive pocket knife like this one was. This is one that I probably won't take out with me because if you drop it somewhere in the woods or in some machinery or something, you can 
or in the water or in a lake, you're, you're probably going to kiss it goodbye. So if I'm going out, I'll probably take one of my little inex other inexpensive knives. I got two or three of them. If I happen to lose one of them, you know, it's not that bad. I only spent 20, 30 bucks at the most, but I'll probably just carry this one when I'm at home. Um, the last thing is, is my 27. I usually carry this or my uh, 38 special titanium as I've shown in one of my videos when I was doing the review of it. Um, you know, just exercising your constitutional right to, to bear arms. So I usually have this with me or close by. Um, really, that's it, guys. I just think doing these, uh, we're looking at these EDC carry videos are uh, pretty interesting. It's kind of kind of fun to see some of the junk or whatever people carry in their pockets sometimes will be a little outrageous and sometimes it's just kind of normal and boring but this is what I um, shown here is just what I usually carry it's nothing out of the ordinary and I'm sure a hundred other people have the same thing in their pockets so if you like it let me know if you want to know anything else just drop me a line guys see ya